Hey everybody, it's Coach Bill Hart and I am on a rant. And because I'm on a rant, for the very first time ever, I'm gonna shoot a video while standing. So this is my uh, very desk that, that I adjust every 30 minutes so that I can be standing. Normally I'm shooting videos while I'm sitting, but I'm fired up, so I need to be standing. Here's the thing, I'm gonna call this, I have a responsibility, right? That's the name of this video. And I'm gonna give you an example in another area and then bring it to our industry. And it's gonna take me a little bit longer than normal so please be patient. I really want to make this point. Um, my son-in-law, Mark, is a physician. My son-in-law has a responsibility to his patients to tell them that antibiotics aren't always the answer, right? And he also has told us, uh, those of us that are loved ones, that, you know, wash your hands more often than you think you need to and wash them longer than you think you need to. Like sing happy birthday in your head, right? That's what they treat you on teach you on cruise ships, do it longer, and you're going to eliminate the germs uh, and, and dramatically decrease the odds that you'll get sick. And I'm telling you, I don't get sick. So physician has responsibility, shares information with me. It's made a difference. Here's the bridge into the real estate and the mortgage industries. Everybody is talking about the fact that we have low inventory, low inventory, and multiple offer scenarios. There's no doubt about that. Um, it's true, right? If you just look at the data, I posted on that this morning I put something up on Facebook about that, that I forget the number 57% of realtors said that they've had, uh, they've had at least 10 offers on a, on a property in the last 12 months. It's just, it's our reality. Seattle right now, two and a half weeks, two and a half weeks of inventory. It, it's, it's unheard of. And yet in that very city in Seattle, I was doing an event recently and I had a, a group of panel uh, realtors on a panel and one of them said I just don't buy into that I, I get it I hear you I know the numbers but every single day I go out my mindset is I want to find somebody that I can help and somebody needs me and her approach is brilliant right my old friend Mike Palin who runs Floyd Wickman courses um, in Michigan uh, chimed in on that and and uh, again reiterated that it's about your mindset, right? It's about making the the decision on whether or not you're going to participate in that. So, so here's what I want to share with you. Um, here are the facts that we know. For the longest time, people stayed in their homes for six years, years and years and years. Now it's more like nine. We even had a little blip uh, a couple of years ago where it went to ten. So people are staying in their homes longer. This is creating pent up seller demand, pent up seller demand. And if you think about it, part of the reason is that um, there is a there is a misunderstanding about equity. So here's what the here's what the surveys tell us. Fannie Mae and CoreLogic tell us that 23% of people surveyed believe that they are in negative equity, where the reality is 8%. 8 percent, eight. The second thing is that for those that believe that they have significant equity greater than 20%, 37% of those polled believe that that's true. The reality is 79%. Okay, you guys, you tell me. I mean, what's the opportunity here? The opportunity here is that we need to educate them. So if you're in the real estate industry, and even if you're in the mortgage industry, where we typically are just dealing with buyers, right, in the mortgage industry, I'm gonna tell you, if we don't have sellers, we don't have buyers. So here's what I know for sure. We have to do a better job with that. So I wanna admonish you and I wanna challenge you. Own this. Don't be a victim of this anymore. If you just keep saying, I just keep getting sick, well, somebody probably ought to come along and tell you to wash your hands, right? If low inventory is an issue, do something about it. Knock on doors, talk to people, hold an event, have a home sellers event in your local market. Bring these people out, educate them, show them the reality. And then the next situation, of course, is, okay, great. I've decided that I'm going to sell my house. Now what? What am I going to buy? Go on a mission and create an opportunity to find a property like the one that is that they're looking for. Offer them options. Some people can move in with family for a period of time or rent for a period of time until they find something. Is it ideal? No. But this whole thing isn't ideal right? I am fired up because here's my conviction. I believe this with my heart and soul. 
We can do something about it. If anybody's going to affect this, it's not the evening news. It's not the administration. It's you. You're in this business. You now have this information. You have this data every single day. We need to be having this conversation with people to unearth opportunities. That's what stimulates it. That's what gets rid of that slow drain. Your Drano, right? Pour it down the drain. Let's loosen this market up. Educate people. Be fired up. Take this to the streets. I'm telling you, folks, I'm fired up. I hope you're fired up because here's what I know. We have a responsibility. Go get it.